All right, so this is obviously a bag of rope. <laughs> All right, but if you take a look at this rope right here, this rope is, you could go to Home Depot and kind of see this kind of pattern in the rope. If you go to Home Depot and buy this rope, you bought the wrong rope. Do not buy that rope. You will fall off the building with that rope. This rope is so dense and so strong that it can hold 6,000 pounds. So even if you're 300 pounds and you're on this rope, it's like the rope doesn't even feel you. It's like you're not even there. There's no tension on the roof. If you go to Home Depot and you get this kind of rope there, what's inside of it is like this cushion thing and then it's just wrapped with this fiber so it's not the same thing we have to special order this from a rope company right and then you can get this bag from um, amazon to keep your rope in and you don't want to have the rope um in the bag um all the rope inside the bag at all times because then if you lose the top part of the rope now you have to go searching for the, the top part of the rope to get it out. So what I did was just tie the rope to the Ridge Pro. And this is a Ridge Pro. Now with the Ridge Pro, this goes on top of the roof ridge and it sits on there and it just locks in, right? I don't know how it locks in, I just know that it gets there, it sits there, and it's not going nowhere. And it took some time for me to get comfortable using this thing, especially when you're on a 10 pitch and you don't know. Because if you look at the material on the bottom, right, it like it kind of similar to the soft material like on the pitch hopper, but to me it just didn't feel safe when I was first using it. But I got on there, I put it on the roof and locked down and I tried to put my weight on, pull it down while I was on the floor, on the ground to see if it's holding. And when I saw that it was holding, that's when I kind of eased my way into it. But you don't want to start using this on a 10 or a 12 pitch roof. You want to start on like a seven or eight and kind of get comfortable with it. And then as you get comfortable and you feel more secure using it, that's when you could start graduating. Now, if you could see right here, these are the different pitches, right? So this is a six pitch. This is the lowest pitch that you could go. So if it's on a five pitch roof, you don't want to use this. If it's a metal roof, you can use a six pitch. This is for a six pitch because the metal roof um, is, can be wet and you can slide on there. But, and you shouldn't have to use this on a six or a seven. Six or seven should be fine using your Cooper paws to walk up on. But if you release this, this thing right here, you pull it out, you can increase the pitch. So that's an eight, that will be a 10, that's a 12, and it doesn't get further than a 12. So let's say I wanted to go get on the 10 pitch, I'll just put that there. There's a the hole is shown right here. Put this in, lock it, and then I'm good to go. And this curve will just hop on top of the ridge and then I lock, lock myself into the equipment and get up, start going on there. Um, with this, you need the harness belt, right? And the harness equipment that comes with the belt for security and safety. So that's what we're gonna talk about in the next video. And then probably in the video after that, I'll show you how those two, the belt and this um, works together. All right, so next video, we're going to talk about the harness and get you guys introduced to that and kind of how that looks and how that works.